Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. My channel is Nisha Loves It, where I make videos about everything I love, including but not limited to these things over here. But today we're gonna do a product review on wine. <laughs> and you guys know that I'm keto, and some of you may not know about this brand, but some of you already do. So this is Dry Farm Wine. Now obviously this is just one bottle. They have many, many different kinds of wines. They sent me four bottles, two rosés and two reds. This is not sponsored. I am not being paid for this. This is my honest review as usual and I always give my honest opinion. Now, I was totally prepared to be disappointed in this product, but I'm happy to say that I wasn't. <laughs> Yay. So first I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Dry Farm Wines because some of you have no clue what I'm talking about. So. They are a subscription wine company, which is my number one and pretty much only con with this company is that it's a subscription and you can't just buy whatever wine that you want. But the more I drank like the different wines, the more I thought, you know, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. This could just broaden my horizons. So. When you get your subscription, there's two different levels. You can get six bottles for $159, or you can get 12 bottles, and I think you get a little bit of a discount. And then you can either get monthly or every other month, and you can get a red subscription, a white subscription, or a mixed. And then they also have a rosé membership, which I guess is just all rosé. And it's the same price as the mixed and the red. They're all $159 for six bottles of wine. So you don't get to pick your wine. They send you different kinds every month. So that's the main con. However, like I said, it really broadened my horizons to wine. I used to drink wine all the time. It's one of the things me and Dr. Barry bonded over in the very beginning of our relationship. We drank very cheap wine and <laughs> very cheap wine. So it's not like I'm a wine connoisseur. I'm not, I know very little about wine except for I have drink. A lot of wine and I have had good wines and you know more expensive wines and we were in Italy so I had wine in Italy and so I have tasted wine and I do have a pretty good palate but I in no way can tell you like the different notes and like pff, no maybe I'll become a wine connoisseur because I'm really considering getting a subscription I would love to get a promo code for you guys I contacted them but I haven't heard back so sorry but if I do, I will post it on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube as well. So I'll keep you updated on that if I can get a promo code for a discount. Because $159 for six bottles of wine adds up to about $25 a bottle, um, which isn't cheap, but also isn't the most expensive bottle of wine in the world. And like I said, you can do monthly or every other month. But six bottles of wine for some people is going to go in a week. And for some people, that'll last six months. It just depends on how much you like wine and how much you drink wine. So some of the bragging points that Dry Farm Wine has is that it's keto friendly and alcohol is, is keto friendly. I didn't get kicked out of ketosis. I didn't get a headache and I didn't feel affected in a bad way whatsoever. Now, um, the way that they say they're keto friendly is that every wine is lab tested to be sugar free, meaning that there is less than 0.15 grams of sugar per glass. It's low in sulfates and lower in alcohol being under 12.5%. So that's why a lot of people who are keto drink this. I know Dr. Jamie Seaman, if you don't follow her, she is Dr. Fit and Fabulous over on Instagram. I think she has a YouTube channel now too. She drinks this wine. I had never tried it until they sent it to us. And so they sent me, like I said, four different kinds, two rosé and two reds. And so far I've drank both rosé and the red. They sent this like three or four weeks ago. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a wine snob, like I said, but these are really good wines. I was very impressed by the red. I love rosé and the rosé was good, but the red, this one, it was a French red, 2019, and it was so lovely, so lovely. It was a pleasure to drink. It was not super dry and like, you know, some wines are just puckery and you would assume that something that has 
very low sugar in it would be a very dry and kind of wine. No, no, this was a wonderful, wonderful red wine and I am sold. Like I'm going to buy my own subscription. That's how much I loved the wines. And it doesn't even bother me that I don't get to pick my own wine because it seems like every bottle is really good and well curated. So I'm not bothered by that now. And in the beginning, I really was. That was off-putting to me that I couldn't pick my own wine. But I don't really know what I'm doing anyway, so. <laughs> so that shouldn't have bothered me, but I'm a control freak, so it did a little bit. But now it doesn't, and I'm very excited to be um, getting a box of wine and seeing what they sent me and trying new wines and kind of educating myself on being um, on actually what wine is supposed to be like. And so I think that, I, like I said, I'm gonna get a subscription and I might do like Wine Wednesday on Facebook or something like that. And you know, have a glass of wine while I chat with you guys. I don't know, tell me what you think. Do you, would you be into that? Let me know in the comments. So that was my really quick random review on Dry Farm Wine. I think if you're a wine person and you like your wine like Olivia Pope, then this is probably great for you because most wines are not keto friendly. Most wines give you a really bad headache. I didn't have that happen. That's one of the main reasons I stopped drinking even dry wine is because it didn't matter if I only had one glass. I got a busting headache that night and woke up with one the next morning. So that was just not worth it to me, but I don't get headaches with this, which is mind blowing, honestly, because I don't know. I've never experienced that since I was like 25. You know what I mean? It's like I turned 25 and everything gave me a headache that was alcohol based, like beer and wine and all that stuff. I can only drink vodka tonics and, and dirty martinis, stuff like that. So, all in all, I give Dry Farm Wines a 9 out of 10. The only reason it gets a 9 is because the price is pretty, it's a little pricey. And the fact that I can't pick my own wine. But like I said, that doesn't really bother me that much. But it may bother other people. So 9 out of 10, great finds. <laughs> All right, friends, so I hope this was informative and gave you a little bit of an idea whether or not Dry Farm Wines might be for you. Uh, let me know if you get a subscription because we could be wine buddies. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it.